And we're back with the breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Monday, Thomas joins us this morning as we talk sport. Monday, it's good to have you join us. Thank you once again. Mercy, it's a beautiful Friday, and uh, we've seen uh, lots of uh, beautiful events in uh, the world of sports. I can't wait to get on with it. Okay, let, let's start off with the fact that, you know, fans are already slamming the f uh, Flying Eagles after their defeat at uh, the semifinal. We're talking about the uh, under-20 AFCON now. I mean, it's quite very painful uh, because it looks like we didn't uh, learn from our mistakes. Uh, the first game where we lost to Senegal. I mean, I saw some uh, improvement in that particular squad. The second game, we went ahead to get all three points. The third game, and also in the quarterfinals where we beat Uganda. But certainly, some people didn't know that uh, beating Gambia was certainly going to be a big ox. Because when you take a look at Gambia, last competition, they made it to the third place. They made it to the third place. And this competition, they're through to the finals where they will take on Senegal tomorrow. So I think Nigeria were a little bit complacent, especially when we, uh, before we considered the first goal, we were, uh, we, we had a little bit of a lackluster performance, but we woke up, I mean, just like any team will do when they go down by a man. And also, uh, Nigerians will not be happy for that penalty miss, but for that player who missed the penalty, he got a red card in the first, uh, in the first game against Senegal. It just came on in the, in the, in the semifinals just to make amends for that red card he got. He played well, so well that day, I tell you, Mercy, but that penalty miss could have gone anywhere. I mean, he did everything right, beat the goalkeeper, but could not beat the post. Today, by 3 p.m., I think it's that time for us to just uh, rally around the under-21s again and get to support them. Uh, they're already through to the World Cup, uh, which is a big win for Nigeria, but we know uh, that Nigerians, we're a little bit insatiable. When we see that we can win something extra, why not go for it? But it's okay. We've won. We've won the tickets to the World Cup, and today it will just be something that would get to appease Nigerians if we get the uh, the bronze medal. All right. Um. Uh. We've seen it a number of times that you know the uh, national team, um, the uh, age grade teams, will not perform, uh, win the, the the African tournament, but will go ahead to do better uh, in the World Cup. Um. What changes do you think need to be made? Um, I mean, Ladan Bosa, I'm sure he has done well, you know. But what changes do you think need to be made ahead of the World Cup, which is now the focus, not even this third place, um, as far as I'm concerned, to, um, to, to get the team to perform better? Do we need to get in more foreign-based uh, youngsters? Do we need to get in players who play in the top elite leagues, you know, in the world? Are they even part of this, this team uh, at the ongoing AFCON tournament? Uh, first of all, crashing out in uh, the semifinals is a big negative. But I've seen lots of positive in that particular score. And uh, what Ladam Bosa needs to do, I'm pretty sure uh, the NFL will give him a chance to be the coach at the upcoming World Cup. And I'm pretty sure what he needs to do, what he needs to improve on is to let the players understand uh, the reason why they are wearing the green jersey, the reason why they are doing that uh, Nigerian jersey. That is a thing of pride. They should they should know that it's not just for their uh, personal honors, but it's also for the country as well. They need to have uh, that understanding. And if they do have that basic understanding, certainly going to work on their mentality, work on the, how they motivate themselves and how they get to perform on the pitch of play. I mean, it's good to work with a team that we've seen at the under-20. So I don't think... Uh, an inclusion will help. I, I think he needs to uh, refine those boys. He needs to train them more. He needs to make them have a little bit of understanding because it, might, it could be that they were not well prepared going into this tournament. They did not get to play uh, together to understand how each particular, each individual play and how they, they, they and how their style of play. So I think at the World Cup later on this year, they'll get to understand themselves more. They'll stay together in the camp. I don't think inclusion will help. They should just work on the team more and see how we can go to the World Cup and, uh, of course, do great things. Nigeria are seven times winners of the AFCON. We're the number one nation when it comes okay, to so the under-20 AFCON. Uh, yeah, just a quick one now. Uh, set to you know play third place with Tunisia. Do you see us rewriting, right. rewriting the wrongs or you know trying to make it right? Maybe with a mm. position or a win. <laughs> Mercy is not going to be so easy to predict because in Africa, I would permit me to use this word, there is a resurgence in Africa. I mean, you don't get to see uh, small teams play like small teams anymore. All right. 
uh, like Gambia, no one expected that Gambia would beat Nigeria, but Gambia did beat Nigeria. And we've not really known Tunisia for under-20 football. We've known Nigeria, of course, seven times champions. It's not going to be an easy game by 3 p.m. today, but I think uh, Nigeria can go all the way. A narrow win for the under-20 of Nigeria. Um, the, the, the age of some of these uh, footballers at the under-20 tournament has been called to question. Um, what, what do you say about that? Have you seen any any faces you'd wonder? I say, hmm, I... Is this guy really under 20? I think my smiles have answered the question, <laughs> has it? <laughs> I mean, I've seen some of the pictures. I've seen some of the pictures, I mean. <laughs> also, I think it's an African thing, all right? Uh, it's not just Nigeria. We saw a South Sudanese goalkeeper in this tournament where, of course, South Sudan had a fantastic tournament. It was a debut tournament, and they made it to the quarterfinals. Unfortunately, they couldn't make it to the semifinals. It's an African thing. We've also seen some players from the Congo and also Senegal. You know, it's a third world country. We are a developing continent, and we don't get to see football started at the right time for this young lad. And just like the pictures we're seeing on the screens, <laughs> these players don't look down under 20 for me. I think we should just cut them some slack. Some of them are under 20 for certain, but some are not. Well, um, Monday, Thomas, we have to leave it at that. Thank you so much. Uh, we'll be joining the newsroom at 9 o'clock for the news brief. Uh, we look forward to sharing your thoughts as we proceed. All right. Hope, hopefully next time there will be more time to talk sports. Thank you so much for having me, Mercy and Kofi. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. All right, that's the size of our package. It's been a very thrilling week um, right here on The Breakfast and Plus TV Africa. We actually celebrated women. Um, I was about to have the uh, one or two questions about women in sport, Mercy, but women are doing fantastically well in sport for Nigeria. Um, if you look at the, the plaudits and the laurels that the country has won in sport, uh, I think we can see that most of them have been won uh, by women. Um, we talk about the likes of um, uh, athletics. You can see the athletics, uh, powerlifting, weightlifting, uh, football. Um, it's mostly women. Uh, track and field, you know, table tennis. It's mostly women. Paralympics. It's mostly women. And uh, I just want to take this time to celebrate Nigerian women. You know, they deserve all the plaudits, all the laurels, most of the medals Nigeria has won. It's been brought in by women. So women in athletics, in sports, we celebrate you. Messi, I celebrate you. Well, thank um, you. I didn't have a chance to wish you happy International Women's Day. You're a wonderful woman. Thank you. And uh, I, I, I celebrate you. I celebrate you. That's the size of our package for this week. Um, you can follow us on social media, Plus TV Africa, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course at YouTube, Plus TV Africa, and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. On behalf of all our team, we have a, a large number of people working on this program every single day from the control rooms, uh, both the production and master, um, to transmission, to the cameramen, to the producers, to our news team, head of news, everybody's in putting their hands together to ensure we have a good program. I want to thank you for joining us this week. My name is Kofi Bartels. And I am Messi Ebopo. We joined the newsroom at 9 o'clock for the news brief. Please stay with us. Good morning. <laughs>